Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to fix this furnace. You know what happened? Customers complaining about it's not giving them a good temperature in the house. The house is very cold. As you go in in the house, it's very cold. So, now when I check the temperature, the temperature is now going higher. It is work for a couple of minutes and then it stops. And the second cycle is not continuing anymore. It's not working anymore. And then you're going to wait for a couple of um, minutes before it's gonna start again. Try to do a, a per cycle again and it's work and after that it's not working again but most of the time it takes like how many hours before it will try to uh, run again okay now look at this the temperature is not going up is because this one is stopped of course this one need to continuously running okay until you reach the right temperature that you set up if you set up to 70 or 71 this unit gonna give more heat to the whole house until you reach that temperature so we have the thermostat on the first floor and then he's going to sense all of those temperature as soon as he feel that the temperature on that area is already 71 that's the time that he's gonna give a signal to this furnace Okay, you have to stop now. I am. I got the temperatures that I need. So it's going to stop cycle. Now, when he feel or the temper the thermostat feel that the temperature there is going down, that's the time that he's going to ask. Okay, give me more heat. I need more. So he's going to run again. So there's a problem with this one. Okay. So now I'll show you how I found a problem for this one. Okay. So right now, I'm not going to turn off the power because um, it's working fine. Right now, I fixed this one already. I'm going to show you how to do it. So now, this is what happened. Okay. Okay. So right here, this is what we call the condensate uh, trap it's like a p trap that we have in here but this one is the condensate trap from this inducer pump there is a water at the back because this is 90 percent efficient okay there's a water that helps to cure for the uh, processing of the heat through the heat exchange so you have water in there and now it is drained in here going this way so this is what we call the trap or condensate trap the water in here needs to go all the way down here to the drain okay so from the condensate pump okay the inducer going in here and then what happened is I found out that this area is clogged so the water drips in here slow and it's because of that this uh, inducer pump okay at the back there is an area that you just water so that's what happened it's just this one is not pushing because the one the water from here is supposed to be pushing all the way out and you know what's the reason why this one is clogged and at the same time from outside as you can see there is a the line okay there's a hose over here okay look at that hose this hose over here that's going outside the code is this pump this water need to go to the sink not outside because if it's outside when that one get pros outside what happened the water in here is supposed to be pushing outside to drain this but it's not so this one is not running it's because of that it froze outside so that's why you need to put this one 
all the way to the sink. So I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? But this is what I found out the problem, okay? You see this con uh, condensate trap? So I take it up this, take it up this hose. Of course, this you have to take it up this pressure cup, okay? Hose, and then um, all you need to do just unplug the bottom. There is a, a line going right here. You see this one? That's the pipe or the hose going that way and drain. And then just take it up this, click, press this one over here, and then this one's gonna go out and clean this part. So that what I did, I cleaned this and I solved the problem. Okay, right now it's working fine. All I need to do is just need to fix the hose. Okay, so I need to transfer. Okay, I got this hose over here. So I got this, so this is the half inch. Exactly the same thing that I have in here. And uh, the strap, okay. And I have this one of three over here also. So we have here the the clump to put it on the wall. And I have this one for the hole. Well, as soon as I make a hole, I need to put this so that it will protect the drywall, not to have more hole. Okay. So now what I'm going to do first is, um, okay. Let me close this back. start with working on this one so now I am in the laundry area okay so I'm going to make a hole in that corner over there and run the the hose all the way here and then that need to go here on the sink right here so so that's the one so I'm going to make a hole in there okay
I'm just going to give you a wrap up okay, to what I did. So as you can see right now, so I put the new one. This is the new hose. Okay, so I cleaned this tank already. So there's no chance that this uh, hose gonna get clogged because uh, the, the pump is already clean. And this one, I run it all the way up and then I make a hole on that wall and that one is going straight to you're gonna check you see this okay from that area going all the way here and it's dropped to the sink so I make a hole in here so that this one's not gonna come out see, see this one so this is stable, so it's not going anywhere. So when it's winter, the drain goes in here because we don't want this to be outside. And it's so gonna, if this line get froze, so it will cause problem also to your uh, furnish. Okay, so that's the code. It's supposed to be uh, that one in here, but uh, the way I, it's set up is different. So, like one of my suggestions to everyone, whoever working on the HVAC, you need to uh, make it sure the latest code because that code will help you, will help you to, uh, you know, whatever the solution that they found out, they set up a code. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's help for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, this is my last part over here. So pretty much everything is clear and then get it so let's do a summary okay so this one I have replaced the uh, rollout switch and also the higher limit switch because uh, you know it's give also the limitation even it speaks you know uh, there is a problem it's cause problems not giving us a good uh, temperature to go up more this one still working but it's stopped if it's a long run so i replace it so that they will not cause any more problem and then also i found out those um, um trap okay the condensate trap is clog and also this uh, pump the pump and then they the way they set up all one is right here it is going outside the house so which is not good so I make him a new hose, but he want me to leave this one over here, leave it there. So then because uh, if I'm going to remove that, they need to remove that one, it's gonna be open. So they want this one to leave it for now and then later on it's going to remove it. So it's fine for me. So as long as this one is working fine now, so that's my objective. So, so that's it. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe my channel and also share my video. Thank you. Bye bye.